something about that music. Mm. A welcome home for heroes decades in the making. Honor flight took San Diego, Honor flight San Diego took 85 sea wolves from the Vietnam War over to Washington DC this weekend to thank them for their service and sacrifice for our country. And today they return to San Diego and the welcome home they always deserved. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes and photojournalist Chris Vega joining us live right now from San Diego International Airport. And Kirsten, I'm guessing this is one of those stories uh. you'll never forget. Absolutely not. I'm here at San Diego International. If you take a look behind me, you can see the airport is kind of busy right now, but guys, that does not compare because a thousand people, at least a thousand people showed up earlier today to say not only welcome home, but thank you to Honor Flight San Diego. I'm holding back to tears. It was marvelous. It feels like it uh, knocked a chip off my shoulder. I couldn't imagine anything uh, any better. I tell you, the San Diego really turned itself inside out for us. I can't thank these people enough. These people have uh, bent themselves over backwards to finally get the homecoming that we, we deserved more than 50 years ago. To see all these kids and to see all these people um, it's, it's, it gets you uh, pumping inside. And that was how San Diego welcomed home 85 veterans who put their lives on the line to fight for our country in the Vietnam War. Strangers, some just teenagers themselves, grouped together to form the Navy Sea Wolves. I was so proud to have served with the Navy Sea Wolves. We were an all volunteer organization, we were created in the combat zone and disestablished in the combat zone. Bill Martin was the eldest of the Sea Wolves to join the honor flight. We call these guys heroes, but 91-year-old Bill says he and his Sea Wolf brethren are regular guys who just happen to be full of surprises. In Vietnam, I was an amateur magician. My real job was prosecuting the war. So I was a gunship pilot. So I flew over 500 missions and I probably popped into the villages over 50 times. In between firefights, uh, I would pop into the villages in my sector and perform magic tricks for the kids. Under the seat of my chopper, I carried a collapsing top hat, a folding table, and a bag of tricks. Regular guys turned heroes bound together for life. You lived with them 24-7, uh, and you got to know these guys uh, very well. Best pilots in the world. They got me out and brought me back every time. He rode a horse out of Lithuania to get away from the Russians, and he became an American citizen and joined the U.S. Navy, and he was my wingman. He, yeah. sa he saved my life in Vietnam many times. There you go. He made it, <laughs> he's exaggerated a bit, but it's mostly true. <laughs> Each with a pretty heroic sense of humor. And they were really upset with us, however, what could they do but send us to Vietnam? And an incredible story to tell. I was flying the aircraft between my legs, a beautiful yellow and black snake appeared. And this young man, shaking like a leaf, is going to shoot the snake that is between my legs. His chances of hitting the snake were zero. His chances of blowing my one of my legs off was 100%. We exited the perfectly functioning aircraft and turned it over to the state. We took the co-pilot with us. Willing to do it all over again. You can always depend on us to protect and defend you. It's always been an honor for us. We're the Navy Sea Wolves. What these people have done in Honor Flight San Diego was just amazing. I just, the coordination, the uh, support, and everything they have done this weekend is just an amazing effort and greatly appreciated. They want to thank us, but I really want to thank them for making this come true. 
Guys, okay, so you can tell my voice is gone, but our hearts are so full. This was an incredible weekend. Like you said, we'll never forget this experience. My photographer, Chris Vega, and I want to thank the veterans for their service, and we want to thank you. If you want to see all of our coverage from Honor Flight, please go to our website, cbs8.com, and if you want to support Honor Flight, you can go to our website and find out how you can support. It's all volunteer-led, and you can help out, too. Back to you. I tell you what, to hear that one gentleman say that the hero's welcome he got today knocked the chip off his shoulder. I mean, that's a chip that was there for decades. Mm -hmm. Never should have been there in the first place, first exactly. of all. But to at least give us a chance to say thank you the right way. I have goosebumps, Kirsten. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I've had goosebumps all weekend. Mm. This was one of the best experiences I've ever had. We were so honored to be there. Oh, so awesome. I've met some of them at the airport when they've left for other flights. Yes. And you could sit and talk to them for hours. For hours. They have some amazing stories. Kirsten, thanks for yes. bringing those right to us. Appreciate it.